Yo. Welcome to another Synfig tutorial and in this one I will be showing you three different ways to rig all right so to demonstrate that we first need to have something to rig right so I'm going to be creating a leg and as we know with a leg there's an upper part a lower part and the foot so let's go ahead and do that uh, now this is the way I construct my legs as well as my arms um, so the first thing I, I did was make sure that I selected a circle and with the second layer type, the which is the region layer type I believe, make sure that is on and then you draw your circle. And I'm going to duplicate this circle layer and I'm going to change its color because one of them is going to be the upper part of the, um, the leg and one is going to be the lower part. So I don't want to get confused about which is which. Um, so let me just turn off one and go on this one and zoom in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and click insert item and keep shape and do the same over here. Right click insert item and click keep shape. And then I'm going to zoom out a bit, select these three points here and I'm just going to drag it upward. And also you can hold on shift to lock it into place like so. So it stays up straight. Okay. And uh, I think I'm going to move it up a bit more, like so. Then I'm going to scale it out a bit, because if you look at your upper part of your leg, it's usually somewhat bigger than the lower part, right? So now with that done, I'm going to turn that off and turn on the other layer, zoom in, and we're going to do the same. Uh, we're just going to... The difference is that we're going to add the points below it instead of above. So right click insert layer, uh, right click insert item and keep shape. And uh, just bring these down. Actually, let me zoom out first and move these down. Okay, so at this point we want to turn on both layers so we can match up the lint. And I think this length is good enough. Well, let me let me bring it down a bit more, like or well, like so. And I'm gonna scale this inward, like that. Okay. So the final part of the leg is the foot. So I'm just gonna go and draw a really quick foot, and uh, I'm gonna be using three points for that so loop spline well actually four points so right click here insert vertex just to shape that out and then move these points around to get that shape okay and i don't want the outline so i'm actually going to just right click the outline and click make region and remove the outline layer. So here we have the foot. Okay. I mean, <clears throat> it doesn't really have to look perfectly accurate, right? As long as you have that shape. Let me just move it up a bit here. All right, so that is done. And the next step is to rename your layers. So I'm gonna rename this one. Oh leg it's always good to rename your layers you don't have to but you know it's easier to find stuff lower leg and oh i think these were switched so this is actually the foot so let me move this down name this foot go back here name this lower leg okay um, and now we need to put each of these into folders. So I'm going to just click on the this first one, click the folder icon here, and it automatically moves down to the second one. So if I continue clicking the folder icon, it will just put all of those inside their respective folders. And of course, I'm going to rename these. So this is the upper part. So I'm going to all caps, upper leg. Uh, you could give it the same names as the um, the layers within the folder. It doesn't really matter, but um, just for, I'm just going to make all of them uppercase for the folders. 
lower leg to kind of differentiate which is which lower leg and foot all right so now we have those three different parts so the first way to rig is actually using folders all right and then we'll be using these control points to animate the leg right um now the disadvantage of doing it this way though i'm going into the disadvantage first is that we have way too many control points so you might accidentally click on one that you don't want to click on right so keep that in mind but this is one way to rig uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually line up these points onto the layers so for the upper leg we want to just select this and move it somewhere here so that when we rotate it rotates around that point right okay um now the, for the next one which is the lower leg we want to get it somewhere in the center here and thankfully we created this with a circle so if i click on the lower leg if i go into the folder and click on the lower leg layer right this should be exactly in the center here so what i'm going to do i'm going to hold on control and select the folder so both of them are selected and i'm going to zoom in and i'm going to try and put this point over on top of this point okay so i'm going to zoom all the way in like so until i can't go any further zoom, zoom, zoom. okay and it stops so and now i'm going to turn on the snap button uh, sometimes it's not button work sometimes it doesn't but I'm gonna turn it on anyway and what I want to do is just to line this up doesn't have to be super perfect but okay I think that is okay so let me click off of these click on them and see where the points are okay and it's right up on top of it okay so let me zoom out and uh, with the foot i'm gonna pretty much do the same thing so hold on control and select the both of these layers um but notice that based on how i created the foot its point is here and we don't want the point to uh we don't want the point of the folder to be here right the point of the foot can be here the, the control point all right because we won't be using that to animate it so for this one i'm just going to move the point somewhere here in the center right i mean it doesn't have to be exactly in the center but as long as you get a nice rotation with the leg the main one is the lower part of the leg here so let me go here and show you how that works so as you can see we're getting an almost perfect rotation there all right okay so yeah so this is one way to rig now if you're doing it this way um there are some things to keep in mind so if you select the upper leg right all the other parts are supposed to move with the upper part of the leg all right so how can we get that done well we can put all of these inside of a folder so let me just select all of them and create a new folder and then we would use this one to move the the upper part of the leg so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this part and then i'm going to do the same thing by holding on control and selecting this layer here and just i'm going to move this point above it above the current point so I'm just going to zoom all the way in like so move this down okay and stop there and then move this over and lock it into place there zoom out again Okay, so yeah, so whenever we want to move the upper leg we, along with the different parts, we would use this one. Okay, um, so let me actually rename this to, to upper leg. And so we don't get confused with this one here. I'm going to just uh, use a, a combination of upper and lowercase letters. Upper leg. okay and 
so when we want to when we move the lower leg the, the foot is supposed to move along with the lower part of the leg the lower part of the leg so we need to put the both of these inside of a group so the same thing hold on control select both of them and put them in a group and i'm going to call this lower leg lower leg right um you, and again you can give it the same name right synfig doesn't really penalize you for that but um for the sake of identify the different layers i'm going to just change the name slightly okay um so yeah so what we want to do is hold on control and select this one so both of them are selected and we want to move this point over on top of this point so let me zoom in and by the way we're already rigging this um this shape here the leg okay so this is all part of the rigid process and let me put this above this or underneath it okay so that is good let me zoom out now and let's test that out so the new layer which is this one let me rotate that and as we can see we're getting an almost perfect rotation so that is fine and now we can also select the foot and rotate that by itself okay uh now I mean, we can reset these by clicking on their respective folders all right and clicking on the rotate point and where it says angle we can just type zero let me turn on numlock type zero to reset it and then click on click on this one click on the rotate control point zero just to reset that okay so so yeah just make sure that you have the lower leg and the foot in a folder by itself and you have everything within a an overall folder that controls the the overall leg right so let me just go in and show you how we would animate this uh, let me go to the keyframe properties remove that initial keyframe and turn on animate let me just move down on my timeline so to animate we will just click on the folders that we want okay and um also please make sure you don't make a mistake by selecting this one and then selecting this one and moving it and uh I, well i think what i'm going to do is when we reach this point let me undo that and turn off um animate uh, to make sure that you don't accidentally select one that you aren't supposed to what we're going to do is put these folders into sets right so all the ones that we'll be using to perform the animation we'll just move those into sets so we know that this one is necessary so let me right click and go to add layers to set and i'm going to call this zero one um upper leg upper underscore l e g okay and what that does it creates a set over here right next to the layers panel so whenever we need to select this we we'll just use this the set here so let me go back over into my layers properties and go to the lower leg which is this one so let me right click and add layers to set and i'm going to call this zero two and if you're wondering why i'm numbering them um, based on how we number them is the way that they'll show up in the sets right so the first one i need labeled number one so it will be above all the other sets okay so let me call this lower underscore leg so there we have two sets and i'm going to open this folder and go to the foot because we need the foot to move by itself right click Add layers to set call this o3 um, foot okay so now we don't need to go over into the layers properties again to animate we just need to go here and double click on the one that we want and we'll be able to select them so if i turn on animate now we can just select the ones that we want and do that animation okay so this is definitely pretty cool all right uh you can also just double click on one of these and then hold on the control key and double click on the others 
so you can see all the control points all at once right and then you can move them that's if you want to do it this way all right so yeah so this is the first way to rig Yo, them are they?